The DR Burton IPEP system is an oscillating positive expiratory pressure or OPEP device which aids to loosen and remove bronchial secretions with proven superior expiratory flow bias for superior airway clearance. An all-in-one clinician tool, the IPEP provides lung expansion, treatment of atelectasis, and secretion clearance. The IPEP is also a device used to help lung health after surgery or for lung illness, such as pneumonia, by teaching patients how to take slow, deep breaths. Put the IPEP mouthpiece tube into the tube port. To use the handle, swing the handle down, push the handle up to gently lock into place. Fold the handle back into place when not being used. Sit up straight so that you are comfortable. Take the dust cap off the IPEP mouthpiece tube. Put the mouthpiece in your mouth. Close your lips around it to make a good seal. Your healthcare practitioner may tell you to use a nose clip if needed. Take a slow breath in. The cylinder will move up as you breathe in. Your healthcare practitioner may place the target marker to tell you how big of a breath you should take. As you breathe in, make sure that the disc stays in the middle of the chamber. If you breathe in too quickly, the disc will shoot to the top. If you breathe in too slowly, the disc will stay at the bottom. Hold your breath for two to three seconds. Breathe out through the mouthpiece with more force than normal. Keep your cheeks flat and not puffed out. This will help you get the best from your treatment. Keep taking very slow, deeper breaths in and breathing out with more force than normal through the IPEP 10 to 20 times. Your healthcare practitioner may tell you the number of breaths they want you to take. After at least 10 breaths in and out, do two or three huff coughs to clear your lungs. To get the best from your treatment, Try not to cough until you have done 10 breaths in and out. Huffing, also known as huff coughing, is a technique that helps move mucus from the lungs. Sit up straight with chin tilted slightly up and mouth open. Take a slow deep breath to fill lungs about three quarters full. Hold breath for two or three seconds. Exhale forcefully in a continuous exhalation to move mucus from the smaller to the larger airways. Huffing is like exhaling onto a mirror or window to steam it up. Repeat this maneuver two more times and then follow with one strong cough to clear mucus from the larger airways. Now repeat breathing and huff coughing four times or as directed by your healthcare practitioner. If you feel dizzy or lightheaded while using the IPEP, take the mouthpiece out of your mouth. Breathe normally, then begin using it again. If you still feel dizzy or if you have any other problems while using the IPEP, stop treatment and talk to your healthcare practitioner. Use the IPEP as often as your healthcare practitioner tells you to. Keep using the IPEP even if you are bringing up just a little mucus. Keep the OPEP mouthpiece covered with the dust cap when you are not using it. Some of the IPEP parts can be used to make a smaller device called the Pocket Pep. You can use the Pocket Pep to continue your treatment at home. With the back of the IPEP facing you, take the OPEP module out by pushing down on the vents and out towards you. Put the OPEP module in the Pocket Pep case. Make sure that the module foot goes in first. Push the OPEP mouthpiece firmly over the top of the module. Push until it clicks onto the case. Take the dust cap off the pocket pep. Put the mouthpiece in your mouth. Close your lips around it to make a good seal. Make sure your hand does not cover the holes near the bottom. Your healthcare practitioner may tell you to use a nose clip if needed. Take in a very slow, deeper breath than normal, but do not fill your lungs all the way. Hold your breath for two to three seconds. Breathe out through the mouthpiece with more force than normal. 
Keep your cheeks flat and not puffed out. This will help you get the best from your treatment. Keep taking very slow, deep breaths in and forceful breaths out through the pocket pep for 10 to 20 times. Breathe out through the mouthpiece with more force than normal. Your healthcare practitioner may tell you the number of breaths they want you to take. After at least 10 breaths in and out, do two or three huff coughs to clear your lungs. To get the best from your treatment, try not to cough until you have done 10 breaths in and out. Huffing, also known as huff coughing, is a technique that helps move mucus from the lungs. Sit up straight with chin tilted slightly up and mouth open. Take a slow, deep breath to fill lungs about three quarters full. Hold breath for two or three seconds. Exhale forcefully in a continuous exhalation to move mucus from the smaller to the larger airways. Huffing is like exhaling onto a mirror or window to steam it up. Repeat this maneuver two more times and then follow with one strong cough to clear mucus from the larger airways. Now repeat breathing and huff coughing four times or as directed by your healthcare practitioner. If you feel dizzy or lightheaded while using the pocket pep, take the mouthpiece out of your mouth. Breathe normally, then begin using it again. If you still feel dizzy or if you have any other problems while using the pocket pep, stop treatment and talk to your healthcare practitioner. Use the pocket pep as often as your healthcare practitioner tells you to. Keep using it even if you are only bringing up a little mucus. Keep the OPEP mouthpiece covered with the dust cap when you are not using it. You can clean the pocket pep in warm, soapy water. You can use liquid detergent such as Dawn. Take off the dust cap and mouthpiece. Take the OPEP module out of the pocket pep case. Take the vent piece off the OPEP module. Pull the flapper valve out of the module base. Make sure that you have the six parts. Wash the parts by soaking them for 15 minutes, moving them around from time to time. Then rinse with clean, warm water. Look at the parts. If they are still not clean, wash them again. You can use a soft, lint-free cloth or a soft bristle brush to help clean them. Shake off any water from each part. Leave the parts to dry. Make sure that there is no soap or water left in them before you put them back together. You can also cold sterilize the pocket pep by soaking the parts in 70% isopropyl alcohol for two minutes. Be sure to wear plastic gloves when removing the parts. Rinse in distilled water and allow to air dry. If you have any questions, contact DR Burton Healthcare. <laughs>